channel so this weekend i'm doing another little spend the weekend with me in lockdown i haven't done one of these in a few weeks and i've actually missed them just can't wait for summer where i can film outside and have fun summer vlogs with jed emily and all my friends doing fun things in summer but for now it's another lockdown vlog um i'm actually just about to film a video i'm all done filming my video oh my god that was my mistake so bright there and i just got a facetime to my friend as well we were on facetime for like oh my god why so bright there so we were on facetime for like over an hour which was super nice i'm just gonna film a tiktok of like an ebay haul but like styling it so basically what i've just did for the try on clip so i might switch a few of the outfits up look how clear my forehead is compared to what it used to be i've been using um what was that i've been using the Paula's Choice and the Niacinamide on my chin and honestly I think the Paula's Choice has been helping with my hormonal acne as well because touch wood. I haven't had any of those big under the chin spots which I was getting so I'm praying that is that that has helped. Me and my friend were talking about that crystal. How would you say it? Mul Molzatrite or something like that everyone's been talking about. And she was saying she's seen like crazy videos of people like saying they literally like change their life. Surely like you can only it only happens if you want it to happen like you let it happen if that makes sense because she was saying she wants to get it but she's scared of everything just changing in her life i've seen another one which isn't as strong i think it's called malachi or something like that honestly this weather today it's rained once and then it gone super sunny rains again and now we're super sunny again and the sun keeps coming in and out so my room oh my god my hair's gone crazy my room keeps going dark and then nice i have to quick what keep adjusting but just wanted to sit down and do a power lantern with you guys because i've got some really good bits i don't think i've got enough to do like a separate video on my channel like a power lantern but, but yeah who doesn't love a bit of power so i got these little heart shaped bowl plate type of things so they could be cute for like pancakes or something got a dark pink one and a light pink one saw these on youtube and i was like oh my god i need them I'm just loving hearts at the moment oh because i got a heart shaped frying pan i've been making my pancakes my eggs in here and I'm just loving it um and then my mum actually gave me this so it's one of the little heart toast rack things i'm probably going to put that away in my storage um and then i got these cotton buds i picked up some batteries because my remote control my room the batteries are basically dead and i have to like take the back off and like move them around for them to work again so i picked some batteries up and then i also picked up this little plant pot for my room because i feel it would go nicely with my bed um i don't know if i'm going to use the, two, the wooden bits but i'll just take it out of the bubble wrap to show you so it looks like this and this was three pounds i thought it was really nice i need to get a plant this size to fit in here so when ikea opens i'll probably go but that's what it looks like with the wooden things i haven't decided yet i'll probably use it without rather than the little wooden things but yeah let me know what you think i picked up these cool little candles i've actually opened this one this one is the unscented one but there's just like these round candles and i just thought they were really cute i don't know if i'll burn them but more for like decorative pieces and then i picked up this color which is vanilla crush if you did want to burn them it says 32 hour burn time yeah i thought it was a really nice like neutral color and then i love a bit of color so i picked up the orange as well and this actually looks like i might have an orange on the side i was actually really surprised when i saw poundland doing like little round candles like this you see there's like the cubed ones and people are like all the bum candles and stuff so i just thought it was cool but primark were jumping on the hype kind of with different shaped candles and then i picked up some what's it which i've already eaten because i love what's it so much and then i did get a few food bits party rings two packs of 75p pink and white this is a big one these are so nice always used to have these in one of the offices at the job i worked at and i forgot about them and then my sister picked them up in tesco i was like oh my god i just love them they're actually quite big as well they're probably like that big it's like a wafer with marshmallow in oh yeah and then i picked up this gin glass it says it has a coast that says gin as well it's like a balloon shaped one this was again it was three pounds it's in the mother's day section um and then i picked up some stickers for my scrapbook they two for a pound so i got like these cute umbrella ones um milky bar cookies and creams these are so good i've really started eating them fruit winders because i bought fruit winders the other week for the first time in years literally haven't had these in years since b and and they're so nice so i just got them as like a little snack 
And then I picked up these blue coasters again because I thought they would go nicely with my room. They're just these beady ones and you get a pack of two. And they also have big placemats of them. My mum actually got the ones in silver. These Barneys, they're spelt differently. I actually introduced Jed to these and I dipped them in my milk and oh my god, they're just so good. I feel like I'm going to be letting you guys in on my little secret here. Some of you might know about them. But dinky dogs taste exactly like Percy Pig and then I saw that they have Dinky and Friends. I'm literally obsessed with Percy Pig but when I go to Poundland I always pick up some Dinky Dogs and if you go to Lidl they do Henry the Hippos which is the same as Dinky Dogs but they're hippos and if you go Aldi, Leo the Lions. I know I'm literally just obsessed so I get all four. If I go to Lidl I get the hippos, if I go to Poundland I get these, if I go to MLS I get Percy Pig. Whilst I'm here I might as well show you something else that I got. They were five pounds and honestly best five pounds i've ever spent i also was in mns and picked this up I'm literally a walking and talking advert for percy pig my brother got me this for christmas i'm obsessed i actually killed the plant because i didn't realize it's a succulent i know am i dumb but um yeah i accidentally watered it and it basically rotted and died so i'm trying to revive it but i just went to b and q and i needed some new soil and bought one it was like three pounds and it came with a little um plant pot so i was actually supposed to be going to the vigil the reclaim the streets vigil today but obviously they all got cancelled because the met police said they can't go ahead even though the high court said it was fine hey hi <laughs> your hair looks nice hi. actually your hair looks really nice like that oh thanks <laughs> i love craig his voice is just amazing i love him yeah, I think either Craig or Jordan and Wesley will be my winner. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. It's Mother's Day today and my sister and I are actually making an afternoon tea for my mum. So we're literally downstairs making it. I'm just doing a sandwich. So I'll bring you guys down, show you what we've got. Because I think we've got a pretty good spread, to be honest. This is the current situation. We've got cheese and cucumber, prawn, mayo. What other sandwiches? Oh, hams over there. These little cupcakes from Asda. These mini chocolate ones. We've got the mini Victoria sponge. We got some scones, jam, clotted cream. We got some Mr. Kipling Angel slices, some French fancies. And then we have these ones from Waitrose as well, which are blueberry buttercream or passion fruit buttercream and passion fruit curd. But one of them's falling over there. So our spread is done. We've got the cakes, the scones, sandwiches, sandwiches, pork pies, Victoria sponge, sandwiches, angel, fancies, cupcakes cheese and onions, juice, and then some boxes. And then that's mine, my little plate there. Not bad. So I got out our little matching um, cups and saucers, and then the matching plates, so freaking cute. <laughs> brushing my hair because me and my sister are actually going to the thing at Scotland Yard today. I just noticed this on my dressing table. I have no idea when it happened. I need to get the mascara off. I have no idea when or how it happened. I literally just noticed it now but I feel like I would have noticed it during the week. How did this happen? Like my whole, like that literally has come up my dressing table. It's literally a crack down my whole dressing table. I don't think we'll be back too late or like out too long because I've got work tomorrow. My sister's got work tomorrow. But yeah, I put a fleece on to keep warm because it's actually kind of cold out there also going to put a jacket on with a hood in case it rains obviously not going to bring my camera um but yeah this is the first time i'm actually going like into london in so frigging long and it's going to feel so weird because i feel like i've kind of just forgotten they exist <laughs> I got back around half six it's now half seven but it was actually really really good i've never been to like a demonstration before because when my sister went to all the student ones she was in year 11 and i think i was in year eight so i was, I was too young for them there's so many more people than i expected there to be because i remember saying to my sister what if there's not that many people but there was literally so many people it's so amazing to see so many women and men and there's also people with their kids now watching i started unforgotten i think there's three seasons of it I'm on season one, episode three, and basically it's like 
they investigate like an old crime so the crimes from like 1975 and like each person has like a little life story as well it's really good actually. I was uploading my clips earlier to edit them when I was listening to the clips just like off of my memory card they're fine and when I imported them they were just on the side I hadn't put them into project yet they were fine as soon as I put them into project into the project this is what happened to my channel I hope you're all doing well so today I'm bringing your video so high pitched I was like I literally sound like a freaking chipmunk and I closed it down and in the end I just had to make a new event and that seemed to fix it my nails have been on for just over two weeks now two weeks and a day or two weeks and two days I think I think I've nailed gel nails now I just love them 